Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to draw this epic illustration using a magic default brush which I discovered and modified. It is very good for shading which requires no blending and the results are awesome. One more thing, you can download color palette and sketch. So let's get started. First, keep your screen zoomed out. We will begin with our office sketch, drawing a circle and adding a middle line to indicate the direction of face. Next, we will place landmarks for hairline, eyebrows, nose and mouth. Now add rough forms for the jellyfish bells. Get a feel for the space they will occupy and the direction they will take. This is just a rough sketch idea but it will guide our next step. Next, zoom in a bit and add simple forms to our rough sketch. We are getting the idea of features so don't stress about perfection. Place forms for the eyes, nose and lips. It's like building with blocks. We are creating the foundation for something amazing. As we work, remember that making mistakes is all a part of process. We learn from our mistakes so don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. And if all else fails, we can always joke that our sea girl is supposed to look like an ugly ghost. As you modify the bell, add some curvature to it, give it a smooth flowing shape that captures the elegance of our jellyfish. Add more definition to the bell's edges and add more confident strokes while drawing the jellyfish. Now that we have our basic forms in place, it's time to add some rough details. The next step is to draw the face with rough features. Don't worry too much about perfection at this stage. We will refine everything later. Just focus on getting the basic shapes and proportions right. Think of it like building a foundation for a house. We need to get the basics right before we can start adding the finer details. As we draw the face, remember to keep it rough and simple. We are not trying to create a masterpiece just yet. We are just getting a feel for the overall shape and the structure of our seagull's face. Don't worry if it looks like a bit messy or imperfect. Just have fun and be creative. Now that we have our rough details in place, zoom in as much as possible and add final details, refine our sketch and correct any mistake. Using our signature pen, add confident strokes to our sketch, refining the form and making it beautiful. And don't worry if it takes few tries to get it right, after all practice makes perfect. And we are done. You can download the sketch. Alright, this is our sketch and we have got a solid color palette to work with so let's create a new layer and arrange it below. Select yellow issue and head to trusty tools menu. From there we will select fill tool and fill in the yellow color on the bell of jellyfish bringing it to life with a soft warm glow. Now let's create another layer and arrange it below the bell layer. This time we will select a beautiful purplish color and fill it in the tentacles of jellyfish. Filling in the color is not difficult thanks to our solid outline. The close boundaries of our sketch makes it easy to work with, so we don't have to worry about colors going out of the bounds. Now select a soft sky blue color and fill in the bubbles of water. This will give our jellyfish a sense of being submerged in the ocean. Now let's select a vibrant saturated pinkish color from the color wheel and let's fill this gorgeous pink shade in the thin tentacles of jellyfish. This bold hue will add a pop of color to the jelly's delicate features. Don't worry about the empty spaces, we will fix those later. First we will focus on filling colors in the main elements. Now let's create another layer and arrange it below tentacles layer. This time we will select a greenish color and add it to the girls hair. It's taking too much time and boom, it's done. 
Now let's create another layer and arrange it below hair layer. We will select a lighter color and add it to the girl's face and body using solid fill. Moving on, let's go back to the bell layer and add a new layer above it. With the bell layer selected, let's go to the selection tools menu and change the appearance of selection mask to marching and slime for a clear understanding that how colors will interact with each other. Go to the upper layer and let's select the orange vibrant shade. Now let's select a magic brush. Select fiber shader from pencils folder. We are going to customize it to perfection. Head to the brush setting and navigate to head section. Here all we need to do is decrease the spacing to about 2%. That's the secret sauce. Save these settings and our brush is now modified and ready for an action. Now let's add a pop of color to the jellyfish belt using this vibrant orange shade. Our special brush will give it a nice warm glow. So what happens when we use this brush? A beautiful seamless shading effect that looks amazing. Want to make it even better? Add more strokes to deepen the color. And you know the best part is? The best part is the brush doesn't need any blending. No mixing required. When you add colors, they automatically blend together seamlessly, eliminating the need for tedious mixing and blending. This brush is incredibly fun to use. Its unique texture and effortless blending make it an absolute joy to work with. With every stroke, you will experience the thrill of creation and the satisfaction of achieving stunning results. To add richness to color, let's select a deep reddish hue. Now let's add a stroke of this vibrant color to the corners and edges of belt, focusing on these areas. To create depth, add more strokes of dark color to make it even look more eye catching Add more strokes to deepen the color further. As you do, watch how the orangish and reddish colors merge seamlessly requiring no blending and resulting in a beautiful captivating effect. Now deselect the layer and switch to the tentacles layer. Select this layer and navigate to the shading layer. Now make the purplish color more darker. Now add strokes of fiber shader brush to add a sense of texture and movement to the tentacles. As you work, focus on adding the color where it looks best. Don't worry too much about a specific placement, we are creating a vibrant multicolored artwork that's all about capturing the beauty and wonder of the underwater world. Simply let your creativity flow and see where the colors take you. Next, select a bright poppy pink color and add it to some areas of tentacle. Again, don't worry too much about a specific placement. We are aiming for a playful creative effect that adds energy and movement to our artwork. Now let's move on to hair layer. Select this layer. As you can see, other areas are also selected, but we don't need them. To fix this, go to the tentacles layer and subtract its selection. Do the same for bell layer and subtract its selection. Now only the hair is selected. Now navigate to shading layer and select this green color. Make this color darker and more intense, then add it to the hair to create shadows and depth, making the hair more voluminous and textured. Select the green color and make it brighter and more vibrant and add it to the hair to make it more radiant and alive. This will help capturing the shimmering quality of hair. To select the face area, navigate to the hair layer and select this layer. Now navigate to the tentacles layer and add the selection of this layer. Similarly, navigate to the bell part layer and add the selection of this layer. Now go to the selection tools menu and invert the selection. Here you can see only the face part is selected. Select a face color and make it slightly darker. Now add this darker color to the cheeks to make them look more darker as if they have a dark blush. Be sure to match the skin complexion of our sea girl. Make this color slightly darker 
and add this dark color to the upper part of cheeks and also to forehead. Increase the brush size and add darker color to the lower body such as the neck and torso. This will create the greater sense of depth and volume. Now the shading part is complete. The next step is to add shadows. Now let's create a new layer and change its blending mode to multiply. Now select solid fill from fills folder. Reduce the opacity of blending mode layer. Now let's add shadows to enhance the dimensionality of our seager's face. Focus on the areas between eyebrows and eyes as well as the lower lid of eyes and also add shadows casted by the upper lid of eyes. Don't forget to add shadows to the nose and left side of the face creating a natural looking transition between light and dark. Leave a triangular area of cheek free from shadow to create a natural looking highlight where the light can catch the curve of the face. Also add shadows cast by the hair to the face to create depth and dimension. Now reduce the opacity of solid fill slightly and add a shadow to the single strand of hair. Make this color darker and add dark color to the girl's lip. Add a dark occlusion shadow cast by the face to neck. Reduce the opacity of solid fill and use this dark color to add depth to nose, creating a sense of curvature and shape. Select an eraser, reduce the opacity of solid fill and carefully erase the middle part of nose, creating a subtle highlight that catches the light. Switch to watercolor brush. Add a dark color to the neck and torso with a large size of mostly water brush. And we have completed with the face shadows. Deselect a layer. Let's add some shadows to our sea girl's hair. We will use a solid fill brush to add shadows to each strand. This will give her hair some depth. Use respective color for adding shadows. To make it look smooth, we will use the lazy tool. This will help us create a natural flowing look. Remember to take your time and add shadows to each strand. This will help create a layered 3D effect. As we work, just focus on making slow, smooth strokes. Don't worry if it's not perfect, we can always adjust as we go along. Now that we have completed adding shadows to our sea girl's hair, next select purplish color and then use it to add shadows to the tentacles of jellyfish. This will help create a sense of depth and dimension and make the jellyfish look even more stylized and vibrant. By adding shadows to the tentacles, we will also be able to create a sense of movement and flow which will help bring our entire underwater scene to life. Next, we're gonna add shadows to the bell of jellyfish. For this, you're gonna pick the saturated color of the bell. 
Select the respective layer of jellyfish and then add shadows on the multiply layer. Add shadows to the lower part of jellyfish giving it a sense of weight and heaviness as if it's being blown downward by an underwater current. This will add a nice sense of movement and energy to our jellyfish. Now adding shadows to well is complete. Now using your respective color and by selecting respective layer of bubbles, add shadows to multiply layer to the bubbles. Now that we have completed adding shadows to our piece of artwork, the next step is to add beautiful glow. To do this, we will create a new layer and change its blending mode to overlay. Next, select the respective color for bell and then go to the bell layer and select this layer. Now go to the overlay layer and use fiber shader brush. We will start by adding a glow to the bell using the fiber shader. Just a few strokes will make the color brighter and more vibrant. Then we will select the greenish color and make it even more lighter and add a glow to the hair of our sea girl. We will also add a glow to the face using the skin color. Finally, we will select a pinkish color and add a pinkish glow to the tentacles of jellyfish, making it even more vibrant and eye-catching. The next step is to define some of its key features. For this, create a new layer and select the yellowish color and make it lighter. Select signature pen from pens folder. Now use this brush to define some of the features of bell of jellyfish. This will help create more stylization and produce a truly stunning effect. Make this color brighter and cooler and use this color to define some of the features of tentacles of jellyfish. Use whitish color to add shine to bubbles using solid fill. Add shine to nose. Add white color to the white part of eyes. Now select greenish color and add this color to the lens of Seeger. Now using reduced opacity of solid fill and using the same greenish color, we will add shine to some of the strands of sea girl's hair. And we are done. Like, share and subscribe.